Hey everybody, it's Werewitch here with a defensive wall quick tips. What we're going to do today is build a real fast little mock wall. Um, when you're getting ready to put your walls down, you do not want this symbol. That's going to put down logs straight. You do not want that one. What you want is where it makes the circular uh, icon like so, or your cut lines place lines whatever you want to call them let's grab one more to get these lined up you want to place them right next to each other normally on your third one you're going to get a straight line like this you're going to see it kind of start to snap can you see that in the middle there get these placed down like so now once you get down um i think it's approximately five you're going to be able to um place a doorway in now if you have it place like such it's going to open up that direction all right if you're not happy with that it's okay you just hit your dismantle button pull it off throw it on the other direction and you'll get to open that way if you have two doors you'd want those to kind of face up and in if you want it to face to open in um but you'll have to do that to your liking whatever it is that you're hoping to achieve now, um, before you put that door on, um, and I think you might be able to do it afterwards, you're gonna get these little cut lines at the top. By cutting spikes, you stop the cannibals from being able to climb over the top of them, right? Unless you want that. Sometimes you can place these without uh, chopped tops next to large bodies of water or deep water, and they will purposely climb over it and drown themselves on the other side. So once again, it's depending on what you want to do. Now, you don't have to stop here on these walls. If you want to get a little bit of extra defense, what you want to do is you want to get some spikes made. Now, when you get ready to place these, you don't want that symbol. See those two little dotted lines? If we put that down like that, we're going to make a fire. We don't want that. What we want is this little circular symbol like so. Now, I like to get these nice and tied up next to the wall, but the game doesn't like that. It does not want us to do that. But so what we do is we place one back a little ways, just kind of freehand it like this. And then you're going to get a little dotted line. See, this goes out all the way around in a, a radial formation, a circle formation. OK, um, what I like to do is run it right up next to it. For some reason, it works now. So we're going to do that. We're going to plop one down right there. We're going to use the one we just placed to make another line. Try to get that dotted line. And if it doesn't show up easily for you, grab up this one back here then it's much easier like that right see we're gonna get nice and close you know and you can double these up too right so if you wanted to you could have one um set next to them in between let me show you what i mean by that um so what we're going to do is kind of stagger it right so we've got one there now and hopefully we can get it to connect it may not it may not get it there might be a better way to do this. Let's see if we can figure this out together. But you also want to make sure that you reinforce these. The first time somebody's going to hit these spikes, when we fold them through, they are going to break. We do not want that to happen. When you get ready to chop these, you're going to get this little jump forward arrow kind of marker. It's saying, oh, I'm going to go this direction. Now, whatever way you're facing is what way they are going to go. So if for some reason you want to want to go that way, as you can see, it's going to go out to the side. You know, maybe you wanted a diagonal. In our case, we want to have one that's facing forward. So we're going to face forward, do that. And as you can see, it's coming out the other side. Now, we were talking earlier about doubling these up or staggering them. So what we're going to do is put one about right up, about right there. Okay. Now we should be getting there we go. That's what I was talking about. So now we're going to have one there. And it's going to line up. And it's going to have one about right there, too. Now those aren't perfectly staggered, but you get the idea about what we're trying to do here. And then once again, you're just going to chop through with those and they would be on the other side of your wall. As you can see, you start to have like this double spike effect. Now you don't have to stop there either, right? So you've got this down on the ground. Well, maybe you build up a platform right here. And then on top of that, you do the same thing again. You can double those spikes up. You can put them on top of that platform. Then you're going to have another layer out up and above. I'm going to kind of show you what that looks like over at our base, and I think that'll wrap things up here. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe if you're happy with the tips that we're leaving you here. 
Let me show you real fast what I'm talking about. So on our wall, we do not have the defensive spikes, at least uh, in completion all the way around. We're not in close like that. We use the stone walls, but you can see we've got our spikes coming through up on top right there, and you can see the tops of them right there. But if you come on the other, or other side, you can kind of see them poking through at the bottom as well. Now this does a perfectly fine job for us, but some people want to go hog wild. Well, feel free to do so. I just want to show you what we've done here. This works more than fine for us. All right, I think that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Sweet dreams.